guys, Jen here from Made and Such and Such and Be Scented. I am um, making my first double batches of soap. I have gotten to where um, the single batches that I do the 13 bars is just not enough. They sell out within a month maybe six weeks at the most. So, um, I went to Lowe's, got me some material, had them cut the boards the length that I wanted, and come home and I made me some new molds. So I'm really excited to use them. So now I'll be getting 26 bars of soap. So this is just all of my oils, my oats and my clay, goat milk, uh, cream, all that's in there. And I had to put my lye water in this, the bucket that I have made uh, my smaller batches in because um, it's, uh, my normal containers are too small. So this batch, I'm going to, I'm working on stuff for Valentine's. Um, I have about right at four weeks uh, if I get them done this week for them to cure and be ready to be able to ship in time. It's about six weeks till Valentine's right now. So this one is Total Seduction, which is a dupe of uh, Victoria's Secrets uh, Pure Seduction. I think it's Victoria's Secret. This is going to be pushing the limits of this bowl. But this is the only container I had besides the great big one that I use um, to mix my great big batches. This is this is all I've got. I need to work get some new containers. But this will work for now. So let me get my fragrance out. Thank goodness that that's all that's left to go in here. I think I want the majority of this um, a pink. And then maybe a swirl of black. So let me put this over here just to be out of my way for a moment. I've not made this soap in a very long time. Woo! I think I might do a swirl of, of white too. So we'll do that one as white. I don't like doing a lot of black. Or when I do, I want, you know, not a ton. So we'll do that as black. That will be white. Oh, I had somebody comment on one of my videos. I thought it was really funny. Um, that they thought my introduction that I do was too much. That I shouldn't do the introduction. <laughs> I get tickled at some of the stupid comments. Because to me, that's stupid. Why well, complain about something like that? I mean, come on. I just got something better to do. But anywho. Let's get our pink mixed out. I 
Now I don't need this a really deep pink, but that's a lot of oils there. A lot of soap, because you know, it's already been mixed. Come on, open up. Gotta be careful opening the black. It tends to fly away very easily. All right, so we'll start out with white, go to pink and then black. Yummy. Now that is not like black black. It could be afforded to be a little bit darker, but I'm going to leave it like it is. Alright, let me get my new mold. For one of them, because I've got four. So this is the new mold that I made. Um, it's just like, it's the same length I always use, 16 inches, but it's seven inches wide on the inside. My, I like my loaves three and a half inches. Uh, three and a half is what I do. So this is seven inches on the inside for anybody that wants to know. I just had uh, Lowe's cut my boards and then um, I put these little these are for furniture, so you don't scuff your floors. Um, yeah, so it doesn't hurt anything. All right, let me grab a plate to put my stuff on. Scoot over. ounces of oils and then your lye water and all that so for anybody that wants to know I'm going to swirl this probably with um, a thick chopstick When I'm done, I'm 
And I will show how I cut these with my splitter that my hubby made. I've had people ask me, um, how am I going to cut it? like this you have to remember you've got two loaves here all right let me tap this down so let's see I think I'll go ahead and get some pink in there I just don't feel like I'm selling enough to warrant making a slab of all of my soaps, like the great big ones. I have three, but the single ones are not enough. And I didn't want to just do um, uh, two like molds, two separate molds of each scent because as you can see, my molds are not filled all the way. So it'd be kind of hard for me to um, be precise in measuring out the correct amount in each mold for all the bars to be the same. So that's why I did it this way. I got enough material to do four molds. There's one. We'll do the black. We'll do the white last. It's been a while since I have made soap. My niece made some soaps um, right before Christmas, which this is the new year right now. Happy New Year's. I'm really behind on loading videos. Um, but I will get there. But yes, my niece made some soaps. Uh, I was here with her, but you know, I physically did not make them. She did. She did a great job. But hopefully those videos will be up before this one. Because we did make videos. She was comfortable enough for me to record. So we made some little one pounders and she, we did some testing of some fragrances. Let me give this a little tap down.
going to do just a little swirl. Not much, because you don't want to really muddy up that black. we'll have to put some glitter on it. I think that'll be good. We'll do some pink glitter. And I'll bring you guys back when we cut it. I am back to cut my soap and I've had lots of requests on um, even though I've showed my splitter before on how I split my soaps so this is my splitter. I took off this little piece of wood that was right here right here um, because I have a hard time opening and closing it until my hubby fixes it because this is a drawer that opens and once I get the soap on there, I don't know if it's just the weight or I have a hard time opening and closing it. So I took that a piece off so I can just sit my log of soap on the end here like so. I hope you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Mommy. And just push it through. What else? Okay, I have Look how much they are. Look how much and then I've got oh, my look how much loaf of soap here. It's up to get, get I? What? Perfectly cut. Yeah. I'll do the other ones that I've got to do all on this video. And I'll try to make a, a notation on the yeah. video. Go on, Austin. I don't care. So put my soap on there. I kind of push my hand down here on this end to keep it level as I start. There's those. My wire needs to be tightened some. Next. It's actually really easy to use. Get your. All right, last one. Cutter up here. Okay, gotta move. Okay, I'm gonna cut that one first. So let me move these soaps out of the way. on my arm. My cutters are backwards. Let's get us a loaf up here. Make sure you guys are adjusted to where you can easily see the cut. Like so. Get us a little end slice. Now 
this is the total seduction. Ooh, how pretty. I like that. It's a pretty glittery top. Yay! You guys can see the next cut easily, so I'll just continue to cut and just take them away as we go. Let's see. It's dark. Um, I didn't get them cut this morning like I had hoped, but you know, it's okay. I'm loving how this one turned out. But I'll put a notation on this video um, of using my loaf splitter. My husband makes all my molds, my cutter, my splitter. I made um, my double molds. He helped me. But I made them. I was very proud of myself. I'll cut my samples in a minute. Our other loaf up here. It smells really yummy. That's pretty. See the hearts? Some lucky two people will get soap with a heart in it. Alright, I need to organize so I can get my soaps on here. Running out of space. All right. Move my water. I'm loving the top on this soap. It turned out so pretty. I posted it in the soaping groups and everybody said that uh, it looked like white caps, waves on the top. And it does. It's really pretty. I think I used just the right amount of black. It turned out good. more cuts. Now we'll cut all of our samples. I run out of samples so fast that I've had to make smaller samples. And that way you get because I try to send two, um, this way you get more soaps to sample. Doing the smaller samples, instead of normally getting one like this, you'll get two different ones. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.